It's day two of a four day trip and my first day in Vermont. Today I'm riding the Kingdom Trails and Burke Mountain. After being beaten by the rocks at Bromont yesterday, today should be a nice change of pace. Night Slayer is a perfect example of what to expect on Lower Burke Mountain. The trails are well built, flowy, and fast. During the week, your Kingdom Trails Pass gets you into Burke. As long as you're willing to pedal to the top, you'll save yourself 45 bucks. The Burke Mountain Bike Park integrates nicely with the Kingdom Trails. It's important to know that the trail ratings at the Kingdom Trails are a little soft. A double black at the Kingdom Trails, such as Burnham Down, would likely be rated a blue at Burke. But that doesn't mean the trails aren't good. In fact, it's hard not to be impressed by the amount of skill and labor that went into building this trail network. It's not for downhillers, but it doesn't need to be. That's what Burke is for. Instead, the Kingdom has built proper trail bike trails. Some pedaling is required, but at its core, this place is about flow. It's hard to capture the essence of the Kingdom Trails, simply because the network is so vast. What the community has managed to build here stands alone on this side of the United States. Tomorrow I'll be searching for some more technically challenging trails at Perry Hill. But for now, it's time to enjoy the Kingdom. Until next time, ride good trails.